I'm Gary Seegers. Catch me on Twitter at GaryWCE. And I'm Chris Giannini. Follow me at Chris B. Giannini. And this is the Winning Cures Everything podcast from winningcureseverything.com. Is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. From his own goal line, gets out to about the 21. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He has some room. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. That's a D. Open field, and he shoved out of bounds at the 42. The fullback is a safety valve for the quarterback most times, so it's pretty reassuring to know you've got a safety valve as talented as this guy. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42. Tackle at the 48-yard line. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. Hands it to the back. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a game four on one guy. That makes it second and six. From the 44 yard line. Second down. They'll drop him for a loss. Loss of two by the halfback. Quick throw. Tackle made at the 23-yard line. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. Here's the eighth play of the series. Bring him down right around the 12 yard line. That makes it first and 10. From the 12 yard line, first down. Fires quickly and he's got his man, and he's level at the nine yard line. Second this is the 10th play of this drive. Check three, check three, check three. You got nothing. You got nothing. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A 10-play, 79-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 38. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Make 
takes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. The Sooners saw one of their key guys go down earlier, but looks like he might be able to get back in the action. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 40. complete he's got room to work out of bounds at the 36 yard line from the 36 yard line it's second down passes to the wide out and he can't pull it in five wide he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. The kick is up, and it's good! Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 27. They'll keep it on the ground again. He takes it right side for a good game. That's good for a game of five yards. That makes it third and three. They get nice yardage on that run. That's a deep seven on the way. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 39 yard line. And he's tackled at the 41. Slings it. And they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 7-3. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. They go to the left for a nice game. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Taken down right around the 24-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Caught and he's hit immediately. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver.
Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. And he's taken down right around the 10-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Kirk, we saw this guy head to the locker room a little bit earlier. Good to see him back on the sideline, and it looks like he could be returning to the game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Quick shot, the defender tips it away. Great play to really tighten up the coverage. You can't afford to make any mistakes when the quarterback takes a shot into the end zone. We're at the 12th play of the drive. And down he goes at the two. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. From their own 44-yard line, first down. Watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Three down, three down. Mike 34, Mike 34. Fires Fires out to his receiver. That's a great tackle at the 47-yard line. down now and they need to get it inside the 46. Pass complete and taken down immediately. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Nice run there. The offense calls a timeout, and they've got two remaining. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Hits him hard at the 23. Two-yard loss for the halfback. The Sooners will use their first time out of the half. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. So the offense fails to pick up the first down. You always like to move the ball at least past midfield, if only to win the field position back. The defense wasn't going to give them anything on that drive. Mims fields at the 48, and he's taken down at the 43. Decent effort, 
He's not the type of guy to call a fair catch very often. He does have the ability to make guys miss. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Brought down at the 32. Here they come. Deep ball laying it out there. It's the safety who's in the right place at the right time. The quarterback has to know where the safety is when he makes this kind of throw. Right here, he just tried to force something that wasn't there. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. That's right, running back's got it. And he tackles him hard at the 27. That'll bring up second and three. At about the 35. From their own 35 yard line. First down. Ready! Ready! Now he tries to buy some time. He's pushed out of bounds around the 48 yard line. Gets rid of this one. From their own 48 yard line. Second down. He's scrambling and he's sacked. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Number three, he intends to see the other way. Fourth down. Mims, the return man. Fielded at the 19. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread or the pistol and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important bowl games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. He sails it long. On the reception, look out. Nobody there. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. Brought down to the 21 yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Takes a handoff, tackled for a loss. That makes it second and ten. So at the end of the half, and a 10-10 tie in this game. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. 
I'm a fan of seeing guys one step wrap, two step squeeze, bring your feet, arrive with bad intentions. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't want to take anything away from these defensive guys, David. But could this be that we're seeing a healthy dose of some pretty bad offense, too? It goes hand in hand, doesn't it, Reese? I mean, well, sometimes. usually, sometimes, uh, you know, pretty good defense makes, you know, average offenses look really, really bad. But. You know, when you have a great defense and you can take something away, especially the strength of the other offense, and make them do things that they don't do exceptionally well, and you know, don't let them throw the fastball, make them throw the curve. And you see great defenses be able to do that all the time, and and that's when you can be ultra successful. You have to find ways to make people play, you know, the game out of their comfort zone. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Great first half. Hopefully the second half's as good. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clench up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Quick pass. Tackle made at about the 45. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 45. They'll bring him down at the 45. That makes it second and 10. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Check in. Check in. Roger. Roger. 117. 117. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of six yards. down now and they need to get it inside the 45. Going deep. What a play and that'll set up a first and goal. So now it's first and goal after the big pass play. Touchdown, OU! And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 22-yard line. Oklahoma is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Fires quick to an open man. He dropped it. That makes it second From their own 22-yard line. Second down. He's tackled around the 23 yard line. That'll make it third and nine. Take four, take four.
He's gobbled up in the backfield. Mims awaiting the return. He's tackled at the 45-yard line. Well, Kirk, I don't think either one of us thought this game was going to be this tight. No, not at all. I mean, this is a classic example of a team that's heavily favored just kind of coming into a game, going through the motions, and kind of being shocked here in the second half. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. Well, I think the defense right now is just sitting back in their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator will tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heel. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Oklahoma is up seven. He makes his way to about the 28. Complete, brought down, nothing to it. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Second and eight, ball on the 26. Inside the 10, and they make the stop at the 8. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Tackled around the 11 yard line. He's taken down at the two yard line. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. The Sooners running back taken out earlier, sidelined with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. And he dives forward. So the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Oklahoma up seven points. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They pick up seven or eight yards on the option. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Play fake, looking to run. Dives and he's down. And 
Down he goes at the 39. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. From their own 39-yard line, second down. So at the end of three, the Sooners lead 20 to 10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of four. Third down. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. after a decent pickup. So the old draw play gets him a good seven yards. And he's taken down around the 49-yard line. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Tailback and through his hands. Stevenson's intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? Inside, stop quickly. That makes it second and ten. From their own 20 yard line, it's second down. Rose, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He has some room. Brought down at the 33 yard line. Scrambling around, and they got him. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Less than three minutes in the game. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Tackle the 39-yard line. Toss across the middle. Tackle made at the 43-yard line. 
It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Give to the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. They're ready to begin another drive. Nice run, and he's brought down. Stevenson picks up five with the carry. Second down and five. Ball in the 35. Makes it to the 27. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. Makes it out to about the 16. He gets another set of downs and more importantly, opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff. They come out in a five wide set. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 40-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Oklahoma to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's been an impressive game by this defensive lineman. Well, Brad, to me, it really just looks like it's just men against boys out there. This guy's been in on so many plays. It's like his own highlight film. I think it has a lot to do with the way they're pressuring the quarterback. They're just doing a great job as a unit and not allowing this quarterback to get into any rhythm. If you want to point to certain individuals as reasons why they're winning, he'd be a good start. So we're just about ready to return to action. Just under two minutes in the game. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. The spike will stop the clock. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 43. Slings it. They'll bring him down around the 40-yard line. Successful offenses always get the ball into their playmaker's hands however they can. The screenplay is certainly one of those ways to accomplish that. Caught, and he's hit immediately. And he stops the clock with a spike. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Oh boy, almost intercepted. Under a minute left in the game. There's a strike complete. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. They're set to go for another round. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. 
And the quarterback going to take a knee to drain this clock and any hopes the opposition may have had. From their own 29-yard line, second down. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. And the ball game's over. The Sooners take this one. 27-10. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Dunstler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.